put him down with my sack. Hey guys, Solomon here, and welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. <sighs> this time we got a hit and run case. Kind of figure since we're dealing with traffic. Um. Wow, now that I'm actually getting a chance to speak here, they're not actually get out of my way, you. I don't actually, I don't actually have anything to say now. Damn it. Well, I suppose if anything, um. I've been making an endeavor to uh, solve some of the audio issues I'm having. For those of you who've been noticing a uh, crackling on the audio, hoping to resolve that sometime soon. Hopefully, this recording even. Um, let's see what we got to say now. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. And Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. How you do that? I'll give him something better. Alright, so let's turn here. So I have been getting feedback on uh, the possibility of using uh, DLC content, and so far it's been pretty positive, so it's probably going to happen. And here we are now at Ray's Cafe, the scene of a crime of escape. Seriously, why are these places so close to the station? If not for the long silences, I wouldn't have much to say at all, would I? Quite a scene here. Detectives! Over here! Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Alright, time to investigate the scene of the crime. Well... Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. Man, this guy looks shit. And as always, we must look at every part of the body. Not that it's necessary, but because it never hurts to make sure you don't miss any evidence. Anything in his coat pocket? Yes, yeah, a wallet. Can notify next of kin. Yay! We have a new location and money, but we can't take it because, well, one, this guy's a poor sap. Although I bet a few bucks probably went further back then. But also, we are police officers, and despite causing a million accidents, we still can't just steal money from people. Oh, look, another California Fire and Life policy. Uh, da -da -da. Whoa! What the heck is this? Madison has life insurance. Yes, and based on what's reading here, it seems like his uh, life insurance has recently been uh, bumped up pretty, pretty wildly. Wow. All right. Seriously, another six thousand. Who the heck did that? I wonder. Anything with his face? I don't know, I'm just kind of messing around as I would if I was actually seeing this for the first time. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I don't know how intoxicated once I'd done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. Hmm. Prominent hood ornament, huh? I found his hat! And no, I can't put it on my head. I wish I could. Alright. Whoops. Don't want to walk in the uh, evidence, by the way. They will yell at you, and you will maybe even get a game over. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Wow. That guy had to have been doing 80 or something. I'm, well, maybe no. Maybe not that far, but... Ooh, look at the size of this skid mark. Blood is a long way from the body. 
car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Well. And what we got over here at this marker. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Hmm. Let's see what else we have around here. It's all yours, detective. Well, I don't want to talk to her yet. In fact, I am about to show you something rather special about this case. This is actually one case in the game where you actually have um, what I'd like to dub multiple endings. Or in this case, two different scenarios that happen at the end of the case. Depending on when you find... Wait for it. This piece of evidence. Whoa. Knife covered in blood. Yeah. It would be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Mm-hmm. All right, so yes, depending on when you find that piece of evidence, will, I think to one extent, determine your end of the mission rating. But at the same time, it depends on what scenario you get at the end of the game. In this case, I found it when we do the first sweep of the crime scene. And you even get a trophy for that later on. But for now, let's talk with the witness here. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Alright, so this is going to be just a pretty straightforward eyewitness report. Can you tell us what happened? Well... I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Hmm. A new clue. And she's looking at us pretty straight in the eye. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Hmm. I see. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Well, I don't see why she'd be lying about that. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Oh, well, we, we could still um, run a trace on that, I would think. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Uh-huh, you were glancing around a bit. I have my doubts. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Ooh. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Yeah, while you're at it, tell your story. Certainly got away with uh, the names, Phelps. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll okay, so I got here. interrupted. You work the rest of the room. Yes, but first let's pick up the last thing here at the site. Another newspaper! Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. 
How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. What in the world do you mean by that, I wonder? Hmm. Maybe the good doctor isn't quite as good as he says he is. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take loan of Mrs. Patterson home. Uh, knows her on a first name basis. Well then, he's a, she's apparently a pretty good customer here, I would think. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. You're glancing around a lot, and you're dodging the question. I have my doubts. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Mm hmm. How do you know the victim? Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Hmm. I don't really think he's telling any kind of fib here. Must be the truth. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. And what about the A argument? Witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Uh-huh, you're not telling us something here. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? The owner? Mm-hmm. Tell us about this joint business venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think you know more than you're letting on. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and use the phones in the back here to call in that license number. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton. 738 West Temple Street. Oh, Thanks, I got man. lucky. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Hmm, seems we have. Let's hurry and get there, shall we? And don't step in the evidence. They get mad if you do that. And as I said, you can actually uh, get game overs in this case. Or, well, in this case, you fail if you um, contaminate the crime scene. Which is just their way of saying, oh, you stepped in the evidence, or you drove through the crime scene or something. So, gotta be really kind of careful. But we're actually going to go to the Sheldon residence first. Now, you can visit these locations in either order. It doesn't really matter. The first time I played the game, I did it the other way Lucky around. Break, getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You 
heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, in a hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Stefan? I didn't know I was making myself out to be dumb. Oops. Street crime. Yeah, about time. I don't know how many are available now, but I'm just going to go with it. Oh, crap. Oh, I was going to say, am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. Don't think I am. But oh well, now I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. Ah! 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 Idiot! God damn maniac! Hey, you can't steal my lines. I called you an idiot. You can't call me an idiot back. That's not how the insult game goes! And now I'm just being a reckless driver. Hooray! Old habits die hard. No! Oh! Eh, they didn't need that lamp post anyway. Gotta love these straightaways. Go, 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 go! Did they just blow up the wall? That's what it looks like. You got that safe open yet, or what? Your girlfriend is looking over my shoulder again. I swear she says one more word. Honey, it's best if you let him work. Floyd, you better hurry up. That was a hell of a crash we made getting in. Oh, no, they just crashed through the wall. LAPD, hands up, all of you. Jesus! Jake, Morty, come and blast this cop! Okay, so... The women's just giving up, which is good. I guess they just can't stand us upstairs. shooting upstairs. at women. This wasn't my idea, Mr. You keep an eye on the Your move, mister, come get me! I've forgotten how to get out of cover. This one's got your name on it! In the face. I don't know why I've forgotten to get into cover. Why is it so dark up here? There. Is this Bukowski? Why? Is he getting shot? Give it up, LAPD. Oh crap, she's just running away. Well, that was short lived. LAPD, out of the car, lady. I was actually thinking I was going to have to pursue her. You silly criminal. Oh, but yeah, that's bad. I've forgotten how to get in and out of cover. I'm going to have to look that up at some point. Darn it, was it square? No, no, square's talking to people. It's not cover. And zero. And yeah, the circle's to reload. Damn it, why am I being so stupid? Maybe it was R1's cover. It's either L1 or R1 is for cover. Oh, well. Back to the matter at hand. While I try to remember what the heck I was talking about before the street crime popped up. Why can't I get in the car? Let me in the car. There we go. What the hell? I don't know. Sometimes this game really does screw up a bit when you're trying to get into a simple vehicle. Whoop. Alright, don't run into any cops. That'd be bad. Oh, you know what? I even forgot I had the siren. Eh, not that it matters. Not that it matters. Oh, great. I, I knew I had something to talk about here. 
Oh, uh, but hey, it's not like you're actually watching these videos for the commentary, right? You're watching these videos for my insanely stupid driving, right? Yeah, you're not interested at all at what I'm saying. You just want to see me crash and burn all the time. Well, guess what? There's your fill of crash and burning. At least for this 30 minute episode or 20 minutes or whatever it ends up being. I don't know. It depends on what time we have at the very end that I uh, decide to split it all up. So yeah, um, let's see now. Shoot, I really don't know what to talk about. What was I talking about when I was uh, leaving the crime scene there? I guess another street crime would be a start. <sighs> Let's see now. Uh, maybe I was talking about the license plate or something, or uh, where people just get... Oh yeah, I think I was talking about how people get mad when you uh, contaminate the crime scene or something like that. Yeah, I really don't have much else to say about it though, so maybe not. Uh. Yeah, it's really hard when you're playing a game like this, which always interrupts you all the time. And especially if you're like me, who cannot remember what he was talking about for more than uh, a few minutes. And here we have more people who are trying to pull directly in my route. More people who are trying to screw me over. And Nixon for president. What madness is this? I think I almost passed up the... Uh... Oh no! Hey, get out of my way. All right, here we go. We're almost there now. Minus two eleven in progress. Nine thirty three South Broadway. Any center unit able to handle identified? Car eleven King responding. Go ahead. Here we are. Now remember, you call the cops and I'll hunt you down. Got me? You don't need to worry because we're already right, here, asshole. jackass. God damn it! Oh yeah, you're just gonna run off in a car, are you? Oh no! Damn it, I already screwed up. Oh yeah, I'm not letting this asshole out of my sights. No, 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 I am not. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Whoa! Ah, damn it! Come on, get out of that corner there. Seriously! Seriously, what the fuck? I'm not letting this asshole escape. Don't run over the people. Stop running in front of my vehicle. See what he did now. Get up there after him, Phelps. Where? Up where? Up this? Up where? Okay, thank you for finally pointing out the nice little drain pipe there. About time. Guy's just gonna shoot at me, I can bet. Yeah, he was waiting to shoot at me, you bastard. Okay, so we can just shoot to kill this guy, basically. Figure out where he is. Gotcha! And I was once again being reckless and getting shot myself. Man, how would that suck if I just simply dropped dead? I really need to figure out how to get back into cover. That would really help. That would really kind of help. Let me see if I can actually look that up real quickly. Well, I'm a... I can't really drive, actually, and read at the same time, can I? I'll find something here.
Okay, well, let's just start driving and I'll figure something out in a bit. I'm pretty sure there's going to be another street crime or two before I get to my destination anyway, so it won't really matter. It won't matter at all. Yep, Soul's gone crazy. He's reading and driving at the same time. Only thing that could make this better is if he was drunk. With power? No, no. He's always drunk with power. Why start now? Okay, maybe I go to page five and that will be a start. Oops! Good thing I looked up when I did. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh, you call your partner with the the right button? I didn't. I, they never actually bring that up at any point. Why would Why would you have that? Zoom out on the mini map. I can zoom out on the mini map. Oh well, here's the uh, location right here, and look at that—a bright red. Um, whatever that car is. Well, this is the right car, so there you go. And now we stake the place out until morning. Well, well, isn't this guy in a hurry to get out of here? I bet you this is William Shelton. That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Whoops. Oh boy. We got a car chase. Again. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Alright. Let's chase this guy down. Yeah, it does it seem to help to uh, hit the brakes when making before making those turns. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Oh, he spun me out instead. That son of a bitch. He's a better policeman than I am. No wonder he killed someone. Driving like this. Lay those wheel arches. Come on. I'm trying. Why don't you try shooting out his tires? Come on, seriously. Seriously, this guy is pushing me around more than I'm pushing him around. What what is wrong with this picture here? Alright, that's it. Oh gosh! Oh no! I hit another guy! Oh no! Head into the station! Go on! Get after it! Did he just die? Hold it right! How's a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they Wait, could what? get into a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. You should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Yeah. Isn't that nice? Alright, to the Patterson residence. Which is all the way on the other side of town. Of course. 